Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala barakatuh Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin Wassalatu wassalamu ala syarifil anbiya Wal mursalin Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Alhamdulillah With the grace, the mercy, the love and the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We continue our da'wah To train 12,000 PIP life coaches uh, Throughout the world insyaAllah over the next 10 years through our Khalifa Education Foundation and Islamic Psychology Center and we have many video uh, YouTube channel so you can go to our channel this is in Bahasa Indonesia Islam itu benar which is a new and then we have another channel El Mukalam Tauhidi Cosmology this is also in Bahasa Indonesia uh, to, to tackle out the area within Nusantara and then we have Kiamat Iklim 2050 that we have to pro be proactive in terms of trying to help mitigate the climate disaster that is oncoming within the next 50 years. So if we don't do anything, then it will cause a, a disaster that is beyond imagination for all humanity. So then we have our standard uh, YouTube video which you have access, that is Islamic Psychology, PIP, Islamic Motivation and so on. So we have more than 600 videos. This is our way of leaving behind a legacy so that the younger generation can pick up from where I have left, inshallah. And, and when we train these 12,000 PIP life coaches, they can then use this knowledge to develop new material, new R&D and so on, so that inshallah we can transform the ummah. So we have our Islamic motivation, coaching, mentoring, counseling and Islam heart of love. Eh? And part of Islam heart of love is for us to proactively act to help shape the ummah in serving this good earth by trying to find ways to overcome the climate disaster that is very very impending so i'm going to give you some ideas how we're going to go about with it non-violence and remember no violence no and no forcing no nothing but it's a way of people's power to bring first knowledge for the ummah to be able to transform ourselves in terms of the self of the uh, calamity that is going to happen to the self, to the family. I have children, I have grandchildren. I do not want them to suffer from climate disaster within the next 50 years. I may not be around, but it is my responsibility and your responsibility to come and work together in a way that we can develop an ummah that is cognizant of the dangers of the past evil that we have done. Uh, the facade that we have done with our own hands. Huh? Allah tells us in the Quran about this time where we create the, uh, that arises from the hand of man, the facade, the destruction, the corruption, the ecological disaster because of our own hands, our own greed and the way that we uh, use the resources of this earth in an improper, greedy, consumption-based society based on atheism, materialism and uh, secularism. So we have to bring back a s spiritual model and that's where we have our research, Islam Heart of Love, based on consciousness, research, mind, body and so on. And the whole idea is finally, we want to bring a global Muslim Ummah that can think globally and can uh, live in peace and harmony with mutual love, mutual understanding with all humanity. That means we would be able to then work together to save this good earth. All right, Because the impending disaster is so severe that we need every single human being, regardless whether you are a Muslim, whether you are Christian, whether you are an atheist, whether you are a Buddhist, does not matter. What matters is that we have to work together, live together, appreciate one another, respect one another and as Muslims we are not we are not abandoning Islam in fact we are bringing a model of Islam that will be so attractive to the non-Muslims that we have purpose and meaning life not only in this transient dunya, this world but a life beyond this world so even whatever disaster that comes we have the psychological strength to face those challenges within the framework of uh, believing in Allah, of His grace, of His mercy, of His protection and of knowing that we have a life beyond just this physical existence on this earth. A life beyond space, beyond time and it is so beautiful. So what is important is that we try to help positively to shape this climate 
uh, disaster that is coming. How are we going to do it? So I'm going to give you an idea, some solution to climate disaster for Muslims and non-Muslims. Where well, you can tell to your non-Muslim friends, this is generic. Eh? All right. But for Muslims, first pray to Allah. Eh? Allah tells us in Al-Quran, "Zahab al-fasadi fil bari wal bahar." The idea, uh, because of the hands, see that that great, that evil that we have done. So we pray for forgiveness. Uh, we ask Allah for forgive us for the, the evil that we have done. So we seek for forgiveness and we seek change. So we have to change our lifestyle from the greedy lifestyle, from the carbon f uh, driven, carbon fuel, fossil fuel driven lifestyle to a carbon neutral, from cutting all the trees and uh, destroying the, the good earth. Uh, uh, that we have this mass extinction the six max extinction where more 200 species are dying off every year and pumping CO2 more than 400 uh, and 15 part per million which is more than 100 part per million more than, than normal before the pre-industrial revolution all this is going to destroy not only the uh, the, uh, the, the temperature that's going to go up but also the extinction of all species including us the top chain the mammal eh? so how are we going to go about with it first is we ask Allah for forgiveness we, we, we change our life and we bring in the deen of Iman Islam and Islam and the heart of love which I have given to you and for us to live a good life as a mu'min and as a Muslim as a human being we must then introduce three R what is three R in our life we try to reduce reduce our carbon footprint that means if we are, for example, like we go to the mosque, we just take a big car and drive. We're using fossil fuel. Why not you just walk? Because the mosque is only about 200 meters. As you walk, you also exercise and you, re you avoid getting diabetic and sickness and so on. So we can reduce our carbon footprint by reducing consumption. If we buy, for example, food, we buy food that is grown locally, not imported from far away. All right, so that is some example of reduce. The second R is reuse. Whatever that is reusable, we reuse. For example, old clothes, we can give to the poor people and then they can reuse it. And then they can give to and use that as racks or as uh, uh, other material, making like shopping bags and so on, which can, can be reused. So we reuse, cycle of reuse. Eh? And the third is recycle. So we recycle, for example, computer parts, plastics, Recycle so that we can recycle everything that we take from this good earth and recycle it back into useful product. And we reduce this, for example, uh, the single use of uh, plastic uh, because that's difficult to recycle. So we recycle all things that we use and then inshallah, we would then be able to have shape the climate change so that it does not exceed 200 uh, two degrees, uh, more than two degrees Celsius, more than what it is. Eh? So, what is the next one? Is B protect? Uh, I'm going to show you a video done by the WWF. All right, we have to protect what? We have to protect our forests, our fauna and flora, all the species on this good earth, all the birds, the mammals, the frogs, the cats, the bees, especially the bees. Eh? So you you can do by protecting the existing forest and then you restore so you restore for example i already start restoring already i have some unused land some uh, government land that is not being used it's just uh, so what i do i start planting uh, plants so i plant moringa oliflora plant that is the leaves are edible for us and uh, other uh, mammals and we can have a good harvest but just plant it by the roadside I plant more than 20 coconut trees and I'm going to plant and so on so every if every single Muslim throughout the world 1.7 billion Muslim plant one tree a year we have 1.7 billion new trees every year we start planting slowly we can green this earth so we can restore and then the third one is to fund so we have to have the fund to buy the seedlings and so on so I'm starting some sort of uh, f uh, work inshallah we can uh, plant i can have uh, within my little farm i have already started inshallah a simple farm where i can breed the seedlings and then sell off or give free to anybody who want to plant a tree in malaysia and that inshallah will then help us to 
protect, restore and fund. So these are the key words in which we can understand. And finally, we develop permaculture and natural living system. This, this is a very big subject. You go to chapter 10 of our book. All right. We have already discussed about permaculture and living system. For the future of humanity, we have to go back to live in an ecological balance so that we do not destroy this good earth. And in return, Allah will give us our existence on this good earth. So remember, this is a message to all Muslims and all our human being friends all over and try to do our best. And let's watch this video by WWF and spread this message throughout to all your friends and contact inshallah. This is not a drill. My name is Greta Thunberg. We are living in the beginning of a mass extinction. Our climate is breaking down. Children like me are giving up their education to protest. But we can still fix this. You can still fix this. To survive, we need to stop burning fossil fuels. But this alone will not be enough. Lots of solutions are talked about. But what about a solution that is right in front of us? I'll let my friend George explain. There is a magic machine that sucks carbon out of the air, costs very little, and builds itself. It's called a tree. A tree is an example of a natural climate solution. Mangroves, peat bogs, jungles, marshes, seabeds, kelp forests, swamps, coral reefs, they take carbon out of the air and lock it away. Nature is a tool we can use to repair our broken climate. These natural climate solutions could make a massive difference. Pretty cool, right? But only if we also leave fossil fuels in the ground. Here's the crazy part. Right now, we are ignoring them. We spend 1,000 times more on global fossil fuel subsidies than on natural-based solutions. Natural climate solutions get just 2% of all the money used on tackling climate breakdown. This is your money. It is your taxes and your savings. Even more crazy, right now when we need nature the most, we're destroying it faster than ever. Up to 200 species are going extinct every single day. Much of the Arctic ice is gone. Most of our wild animals have gone. Much of our soil has gone. So what should we do? What should you do? It's simple. We need to protect, restore and fund. Protect. Tropical forests are being cut down at the rate of 30 football pitches a minute. Where nature is doing something vital, we must protect it. Restore. Much of our planet has been damaged. But nature can regenerate, and we can help ecosystems bounce back. Fund. We need to stop funding things that destroy nature and pay for things that help it. It is that simple. Protect, restore, fund. This can happen everywhere. Many people have already begun using natural climate solutions. We need to do it on a massive scale. You can be part of this. Vote for people who defend nature. Share this video. Talk about this. All around the world, there are amazing movements fighting for nature. Join them. Everything counts. What you do counts. <laughs>